Sam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is a part of my jungle behind me here. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. So today I wanted to give you a quick update on all of the plants that I got from Equigenera. So if you guys missed those unboxing videos i can leave them linked for you um if you want to check them out but i'm also just going to show you now it's been a few weeks i feel like i didn't actually look at exactly how long it's been but i'm leaving for tennessee early tomorrow morning by the time you see this i'll be there but i wanted to show you what everything is looking like before I leave, I also need to water everything. I watered them a few days ago, maybe. Everything has been thoroughly watered within the last like four or five days. But I have some nematodes that I want to put in all of my plants. And before I leave, I do want to give them all just like a little sippy sip because they don't need to be thoroughly watered again. Obviously, I just watered them. Um, so I'm going to go through and kind of just assess all of the plants and their needs. If they need to be watered, I'm going to water them again, but everything should be okay for the most part. The nematodes just get watered in with everything else. So first I'm going to show you how the six plants that I got from Equigenera are doing, and then we will, I'll show you exactly how I do the nematode thing because it's different than other predatory bugs so let's get into it okay so right here on top of my Hoya cabinet I have two of the Hoya that I picked up from Equigenera the first one is this species Parak um, teddy bear Ooh, there's water on it apparently um, and I did take a cutting off of it already so it's um, it's doing fine it literally looks exactly the same as when we got it. This leaf is definitely like the newest. You can tell it's very flimsy, so I've just been really careful with it. I don't know if you can tell that they're kind of fuzzy, uh, which is why I'm assuming they call it teddy bear because I think that Parak is a place, the place where they... Um, likely discovered this cultivar that is really common with Hoya and the way that they are named. Let me pull it out into the sun a little bit for you. You can see the little fuzz on it is super duper cute. Uh, not as fuzzy as the calcina next to it, but still cute. This one was from Jax's Jungle. All of those are doing really well, but since it was my first purchase from Equigenera, I wanted to give you guys an update on how everything is doing and whether or not I actually recommend buying from them. So this is the second Hoya that I got from them. It is the Hoya Acuta Variegated Big Leaf, and it is really pretty, and it's also doing really well. I took a couple cuttings off of this one and I love it. It looks exactly the same as when we unboxed it. It was only 20 bucks. I got these from their Florida location, in case you were wondering, not Ecuador. I think they also have, is it a California location maybe? But Florida is the fastest for me up in here, uh, up here in Connecticut. So that is what we did. I think the name, and price are still on this one if you guys missed it yeah Hoya Parak Malaysia this one was $50 so really really cute love it that is uh, it for the ones that I have in the bedroom the third Hoya I still have not figured out where I'm gonna put it so it's just chilling on the kitchen counter Okay, so the third Hoya that I got from Equigenera is this Hoya Latifolia by Bua. I think the name is on here. I will show you. Snow Queen. Snow Queen, not by Bua. I don't know why I said that. This is the Hoya Latifolia, also Macrophylla, Snow Queen. Technically, Latifolia is 
correct, but macrophylla is fine. People will know what you're talking about. So this leaf definitely did not, like, she's not happy. I think there was another baby leaf on here that might have fallen off, but otherwise, um, it looks fine. You know what I mean? It was only $30, so, you know, it, it's not the prettiest plant in the world, but it's going to grow and it's going to be fine. So it just has some cosmetic damage, like, on some of these leaves, um, which is unfortunate, but it's still a beautiful plant. What, bub? What? Really? Okay. I just fed you. What could you possibly want now? What? Look how cute you are. You're distracting me. I'm trying to show them the plants. Yeah. What do you want? You are the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life and I can't handle it. Anyway. Yeah. Hoya, Macrophylla, Snow Queen. So, eh, this tendril hasn't died back or anything yet, which is nice. So, it is a healthy plant. We just have to be patient and wait for it to grow and give us some prettier leaves. You're really cute, you know. You make it difficult to get the things done when you're this cute. Are you aware of that, sir? <laughs> I love you. Just big chunky belly, just big chunky belly. Okay, we gotta go look at the rest of the plants. Okay, so the next three are up here in the greenhouse. So I'm gonna show you how those are doing and um, that'll be it for this video. Okay, so I'm in the process of cleaning up and like getting things taken care of in here. So just like ignore my mess. Here is the philodendron esmeraldense that we got from, the lighting is really bad. Should probably open that um, shade so you can actually see it. You can kind of see it, but it's doing really well. Um, it looks exactly the same as when we got it this leaf was still relatively new when it was shipped to me and it's hardening off really nicely i am not mad about it so philodendron esmeraldense bless you, you. 55 dollars i paid for that one and then the other two are actually in this prop box so i just gotta get in there real quick okay you guys so i put these up in here a few days ago and i haven't checked them since and uh, this is my philodendron spiritus sancti this is the only leaf that was left and now it's totally melted so this one was the most expensive one and it was the reason why I placed the order in the first place because this is like a huge wish list plant for me so I'm definitely not happy about that so <sighs> yeah I mean it just continuously went downhill from the second that I got it and I, I literally didn't do anything different with it than I did with the rest of these um, the last one is this philodendron linhanonie, which is honestly the one that I expected to go downhill. As you can see, it's already getting like kind of crusty from the lack of humidity. So hopefully inside this box, um, it'll be happy. This new leaf is looking gorgeous and perfect. So hopefully, hopefully, you know, like this one doesn't die as well but i didn't have like high hopes for it to begin with like i knew what i was getting myself into with this one like i'm kind of preparing myself to be disappointed by this plant 
This one I was not prepared for. So that is definitely really depressing because I've wanted this one for a long time. I don't know what their policy is. I have to look at like how long I've had this for. I don't know if they do replacements. Um, but I, I literally haven't done anything different with this plant than I have with the rest of them that have acclimated perfectly fine to my environment. So I'm going to actually take this out and see if there's anything salvageable underneath the surface. I don't have a good feeling about it because it's pretty mushy, even like up here. Oh, so bad, you guys. Oh. Oh, this is so sad. I'm trying so hard not to be so sad about this right now. <sighs> I wasn't expecting this, honestly. I'm just checking this for the first time with you guys in a few days. So, um, I do still have a couple of these Florida ghosts in here that were, like, holdbacks because they just, like, weren't, um you know, looking good, or they're just giving me, this one is literally just only giving me <laughs> these white leaves, so, and this one is just a little baby, so I'm just still growing those out to see what happens with them, and when they're ready, um, I will list them up on my website, but those are not from Equigenera, so this one's really beautiful. I'm just really sad about the spirit of sanctity, you guys. <laughs> so sad but um this one's doing well at least and it's really pretty so I don't know you know like I'd say it was a success so obviously I'm not like thrilled about the spirit of sanctity just like completely melting I didn't know that it was a bad shipper apparently it's a bad shipper um so that sucks <laughs> but everything else is doing really well so I would say you know if you want to place an order you have some pretty good chances of getting some decent plants for a good price just manage your expectations you know so because I have no idea I'm gonna reach out to them and ask them like what their policy is but I genuinely have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> like I've never, I've never had to deal with their like customer service before. So I'm more than happy to let you guys know what happens down the line. Um, yeah. So anyway, I am going to get the nematodes out of the fridge and show you how I go about doing this and then I'll be leaving you for the day. Nematodes. I've had them in the fridge because you're supposed to keep them refrigerated until you're ready to use them. They're shipped with a cold pack. Um, these ones are from Nature's Good Guys. It says refrigerate immediately. Um, and this is just the tiny little packet in there. This is the cold pack. Um, so these ones, which ones did I get? Steiner Nema Filtier. I don't know. This is the type of nematode that I got because this one is good for fungus gnats. So the purpose of these is that they go into the soil of the plant and the larva, the nematode larva, will eat the fungus gnat larva, therefore less fungus gnats. So this in, um, like at the same time as my, sorry, I can't multitask. I can't like do something and talk at the same time. It's fine, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Um, what was I even saying? Oh, my stickies. Like my my sticky traps with the, the co-kit ones. I'll leave those linked down below if you want to check those out. So I feel like these nematodes in combination with 
those traps that suck in the adult fungus gnats. So these you're addressing them on a soil level inside the soil, so the larva and the eggs. And then those other traps are, are addressing the adults that are flying around. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So we're getting them in every life cycle so that we're actually like getting them. Um, I think this is 5,000 that I got. And what I'm gonna do is take my big garden sprayer. Um, I don't know how much this, oh, it's one gallon. So there is no specific way that you need to mix this, but you definitely need to mix it with enough water that it can like dissolve in there. So it's literally just a powder. So I'm actually gonna put my water in here first. I'm using like lukewarm water. really easy just making sure that I get it all So that counts. And then literally just going to water my plants. Definitely recommend one of these if you have a lot of plants, um, especially for like the small ones, like in my Hoya cabinet and all the little baby plants that are like in the back and stuff like that. This helps a ton for like cutting the amount of time that it takes me to water my plants down. So. Highly recommend one of these. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys uh, if you want to check it out, as well as the link for the nematodes. I will give you the link for the traps that I'm talking about because they're not just regular sticky traps because those are atrocious to look at and they get stuck to your hair and your clothes every time you go near your plants and it's just gross because then there's fungus gnats on it and it's stuck on you now and it's just nasty like it's and it doesn't look good having like those yellow things everywhere so highly recommend checking those out as well I'm gonna leave all of it linked down below for you guys and um, that is it for this video I know it was a really quick kind of all over the place one but that's kind of the mood that I'm in right now so that's the video that you're getting <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it if you did you should give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Get yourself those perky parks. If not, there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me. Everything is appreciated. Cannot do this without you guys. I love you so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. Don't forget, too, that I'm watering my plants. I'm not watering them, like, thoroughly with the nematodes because then I wouldn't have enough to go around for all the plants. So I did water them recently. I'm just going to be topping them off. So that's usually what I do with these. Sidebar, because I feel like I didn't say that. Anyway, I love you so, so very much. Leave me little, um, I don't know, bug emojis in the comments if you watch this whole entire video. Um, and I, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another one. Bye.